hmm, don't have it up, but it was a movie about like like some prehistoric women on Venus or something, and it was originally a Soviet movie that they reworked and took all the clippings and made it an American movie, and it looked really cool. However, the only thing why I didn't select this movie was because the sexy babes didn't show up until the very last few minutes of the movie where they start throwing rocks or something at their machine, and I was like, that's it? No, I need a movie with more babes in it. So when I bounced around for the invasion of the B-Girls, I was like, aha, this has babes throughout the whole movie. The whole point of the movie is these sexy babes. Awesome. It's 70s. Awesome, which lately I've kind of really been into the 70s aesthetic. It's really, it's really weird. It was never really my thing. I usually really like a 40s, 50s, 60s, early 60s kind of vibe. Uh, but lately, 70s is kind of cool. I'm kind of digging it. And uh, another thing about this movie, why I want to watch it, and I'll probably put on, since I missed out on the intro, I will put on uh, one of my performances that reminded me of when I was jumping through this movie. So there's a scene in this movie that has like girls covered, like a girl, I don't know if it happens multiple times, but there's a girl that gets covered up in the this like white substance and she's nude and it looks just like my Milk is Racist performance. So people haven't seen that performance. I wanted to show it to you and when we get to that part in the movie you can see and be like, ah, I see it. Cool, cool. That does look like your performance. And also a lot of people really aren't familiar with my work. So um, I always like to show it when I can, which is why it's unfortunate that the intro didn't play fully. Damn it. I've got to sort my shit out. So I hope you guys tune in another time uh, so you can check out all my uh, intros and stuff and some of my works. So let me find it. I actually don't have it on my YouTube. I do have the Lady Alchemy YouTube. You guys should also follow that. But um, I haven't uploaded this yet. It's actually on Donna Trumplova. I don't know if you guys know uh, Donna Trumplova, my good friend. I performed for her a show one time. And I did a performance called Milk is Racist. And it's on her YouTube. And I do have... Uh, permission to re-upload it so I think I might do that on my Lady Alchemy YouTube account but in the meantime <gasps> there's Donna okay let me share my screen with you window capture let's do this Lady Alchemy performance all right I might make it kind of bigger just because just because right now, so I can get some shit done. All right, so I'm gonna run around and do get a snack and um, sort out the Streamlabs and all that stuff uh, for you guys, but I want you to check this out. Like I said, it's one of my performances and it will show you a little sample of something that reminds me of of the movie we're about to watch. Why did that shrink back up? Let's do this. There you go. This performer is gonna be the wonderful, unique, talented, beautiful Lady Alchemy. Oh, why thank Ladies you, Donna. Gentlemen, round of applause.
live in an era when our cities are armed with steel and concrete. Computers and electronics barricade our minds. It doesn't change the fact that there exist a lot of strange phenomena, bizarre beyond reason or logic. Most folks just don't see them. That's because we cling to order, to any tiny happiness that comes our way, and we bust our humps to blind ourselves with our desires and our pleasures. There's a world of darkness out there, beyond time or space. A world filled with evil that is undeniably real. And in that world, there are things that run wild. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really impressed. I'm very, very impressed. Okay. There we go. That was Donna Shamplova. I think she's uh, Meme Queen Donna or something on Twitter. You can always find her. She's on YouTube as well. I'm eating some prosciutto and cheese. Got my cheese bun going. Still haven't updated my Streamlabs, but I'll do it. But if you're interested, you can go to streamlabs.com slash TV and help me with my cheese bun. Sorry, I'm really hungry. But I'll get to that. I'll get to that after I put the video on. I also have a lovely, um, pear, cucumber, and mint cider that I'm drinking. And in the UK, cider is alcoholic. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Um, someone is asking, is it bad that I'm just wondering about the band that had to follow this? <laughs> Actually, the band that followed me was like, I think Antifa. Um, they were called, the. Uh, I forget what their name was, but you can see it on their show. But I think they were Antifa. It was a very strange um, show. I actually uh, was invited to participate through the producer, the creator of the show. And it was called uh, Donna Trumplova and the Siberian Sex Circus. So my friend Donna Trumplova is the um, third daughter of President Trump from a Russian stripper. And uh, she loves her daddy. She's really, really great. But uh, the producer of the show found out about me because when I was blacklisted, people were bitching about me and saying all sorts of shit about me backstage and um, talking about me. And someone, uh, one performer was talking about me and he overheard this conversation. And so he decided to kind of snoop and investigate who I am a little bit. And he found me online and started kind of trolling me a little bit. And then I said something about how I quit performing and then I've moved on to another career or whatever. I was working in PR at the time. And then he said, no, you shouldn't quit. You're a really good performer. And I was like, why is this troll being nice to me? And we just kind of started talking. And it turns out that he's not a far leftist. He actually hates the SJWs. But he's definitely not a Trump supporter. He's definitely not a right winger by any means. Uh, he will sometimes go and and have little fights on my Instagram with people on my posts, but ultimately he's a good person and um, not a leftist. So he wanted to have me on board after he thought I was actually pretty chill after hearing about me. And he said, uh, I actually have this performance called Negretto on my website if you go to lady-alchemy.com. And that is was one of my big art, art pieces uh, that was at an art gallery. And it was in Paper Magazine. Top 10 must uh, see art openings. And he was like, I really like that piece that you did. Can you do something similar to that? And I actually used black uh, all over. Negretto is a uh, out first phase of the alchemical process. It's a blackening and it's coming, uh, like it's a burning, a purging, uh, coming face to face with your demons and, you know, a death of sorts before, you know, a rebirth. So that's what that represented. And he wanted something kind of similar to that, uh, but political. And it was my first political piece. And as you can see, even when it is a political piece, it's not overtly political. I don't have MAGA all over the place. It was very symbolic of, of things that were going on. And at the time, and I think this was 2017, yeah, 2017. At the time, uh, the whole Milk is Racist meme was a thing. So I went with that. And uh, we had a great time. And I became really good friends with Donna. 
And he had various people that were left, right, all sorts. He had Antifa band playing. Uh, he had me, which actually triggered a lot of performers to uh, quit and say they are not participating in this show. Um, yeah, there was a lot, a lot of craziness, which was actually really cool. It was really cool to have all sorts of diverse people uh, doing something all in one place as opposed to having it have to be left or having it have to be right wing. It was, re I really admire uh, what this guy was trying to do. So anyway, let's get into Invasion of the Bee Girls, shall we? Let's see. I wonder if it's on YouTube, but I'm going to play it from a website called publicdomainmovies.net. Let's do that. Okay. 